welcome to today's video in this video I'm going to solve uh, question number 8 which came in the 12 mathematics paper 1 2020 it came in the 2020 and it was in the 12 mathematics paper 1 so I'm going to solve this question which was question 8 if you haven't subscribe to our youtube channel we invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel and also invite your friends to our youtube channel and if you find this video helpful remember to like it and share with your friends with that being said let's get into solving this question so question number eight was given that the 11th term of an arithmetic progression in is 43 and that the first term is 3. Given that the 11th term of an arithmetic progression is 43 and that the first term is 3. Find the A common difference B fourth term. Okay so Question A, they're asking us to find the common difference. Okay, so to find the common difference, we're going to use this formula. Um, this is the formula we're going to use. I'll explain a bit about it. Okay, so to find the common difference, we use this formula. And this formula uh, is just formulated, just made. Okay, so what it is, is you need to master this formula. It's the one you can use if you are given such a question. Where are given two terms? You use this formula. So, D is the common difference. A, N, this is the, A means the number which is given on that position. So, this is the number given with a certain position. And A1 is this is the first number in the sequence. Okay? A1, this is the first number in the given sequence. Then AN, this is the number in question. <coughs> okay? <coughs> this is the number in question, like the number where even which is given in question okay then down here we have n minus 1 okay so n this is the position okay the position of the number given in the sequence the position of the number given in the sequence so in this case we are given 43 which has the position of 11 Okay, so if there are many numbers which are given and then you choose to use, for instance, you choose to use the number on position 4, that means the n down will have the position which is 4. Okay, so the number you choose, uh, you choose to use, you also choose its position down. That's the position you put down. The number you choose you choose to use in the sequence and that's the position you put down so here we have no choice um, the position and the number is detected then that means we are going to use 43 and the position we use is 11 and 1 but if main numbers are given you can choose any position remember the number you choose and the position you are going to use okay so what we're going to do now we are going to replace uh, these uh, letters by their numbers. So I'm going to write D is equal to, so AN, that means that is the number in that position, or the number we are given, which is 43. Okay, so 43, we will write it there. Then A1, this is the first number in the sequence, so I'm going to write that one there. Okay, then we will say, over then over what so 43 what position does 43 has 
in this sequence we are saying it is, it, it is the 11th term so we're going to say there where it's n we're going to put 11 because 43 is the position of 11 in the sequence then we'll say minus 1 minus 1 why 1 because 3 has the position of is the first uh, term in the sequence 3 is the first term in the sequence and it has the first position so we're going to use its first position which is 1 so as you can see we are subtracting the numbers on top and down we are subtracting the position okay now once we have done that so what we're going to do we're going to write d is equal to so we say 43 minus 3 will give us 40 then over 10 over 10 because why 10 11 minus 1 will give us 10 okay let me put the over line there okay now once we have done that then we are going to divide 40 by 10 so how many times can 10 go before before i i divide let me write d down here then i say how many times can 10 go into 40 it will go four times so it will be 10 uh, 40 divided by 10 or 10 into 10 it's 1 10 into 40 it's 4 so 10 will go 4 times in 40 so I'm going to write 4 there and then we'll underline there and that is the common difference the common difference in this sequence is 4 okay now let's go to question number B question B is find the fourth term okay so to find the fourth term we're going to use this formula you need to master this formula and i'll tell you the secret about this formula where you'll be changing according to the question where you can be changing only according to the question so let me explain this formula the one i've circled in here so cn oh sorry sn uh, stands for sequence number the position the number in the sequence the co the position the number of the position the number possess in the sequence okay so in this case we are trying to find fourth term so the sequence number is in four okay so three where is three coming from three is coming from the first number in the sequence the first number in the sequence we are told that is three so that's where three is coming from so if you are given a question and the first number you are given is eight where there is three you put eight when you are using that formula where there is three you put eight if the the first number in the sequence is 40 where there is three you put 40 if this first number in the sequence is 40 okay now since it is three that's why i've seen i've put three there three is the uh, first number in the sequence okay n n this is the uh the, now we have open brackets then there's n n this is the this is the position of the number we are trying to find or we are calculating for the position of the number and we are told in this question we should find the, uh the fourth term so n there is 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 is, is, is the position of the number we are trying to find okay minus one that is just the law we need to subtract one from the position of the number we're trying to find okay then cross bracket then at the end we have d d that is the common difference d is the common difference okay uh, if you haven't understood proper you can still ask in the comment section uh, i will i will really be happy to help but if you have understood now we can go to the next stage okay now once i've said that let me just go through it um explain the the, the formula again just a quick a quick reminder about this formula so i'm saying sn this is it's talking about sequence number the position of the number we're trying to find three this is the first number in the sequence open bracket n this is the position of the number we are finding and minus one that is just a rule it's a formula we 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 use then cross bracket then d is the common difference
Okay, so now once now since I've explained about the formula, now let's go to finding the number, the fourth term. Yes. So what I need to do is I'm going to write this one s, then I'll replace as n by the position which is four. We are trying to yeah the fourth term, so I'm going to put four there. Then I'll, I'll say equal to. Then I'll write three there. Then I also write plus because the number I want to solve is the one which is in the bracket, which is n minus one. So uh, I'm going to replace n, which is by the I'll replace n by four. Four will be put there. Then minus one. Then cross bracket. Then multiplied by. So here the common difference. Uh, this question is don't get confused between the fourth term and the four the common difference the four i'll put uh, there the the common difference which is here is the one we found in the first question a there which is down there uh, that is the four i'll put there not the fourth term but the common difference we found in a is the one i'll put there so i'll write four there okay all right so that's the four. The, that four is coming from the common difference, which you got in A. It's the one I've put there. Okay. Once we have done that, now what is we are supposed to do now is to work the expression. So I'm going to write S4 there. That one is just telling us uh, that we are looking for, we are calculating the fourth term. S4 is for the fourth term. Okay. Then I'm going to write three. Okay. I've underlined the uh, four and four minus one there because it's the first thing I want to work on dealing with the brackets. Okay, so I'll, until I exhaust the whatever is in the bracket in the brackets, then that's when I can go to other numbers. So I'm going to write three plus. Then remember, I'm just subtracting inside. I have not yet multiplied with the. I've not multiplied the the, pro, the the difference by four, so the brackets will still remain until I multiply by four. That's when I'll remove the bracket. So four minus one will give us three. So three will be in brackets. That difference will be in brackets. Then multiply by four. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to write that one down. Then I'll say three. Now this time I'm going to try to multiply three by four. So three plus will be written just like that. Then I'm going to multiply three by four will give us twelve. Once I've done that, then I'll come down here and write S4. Then three plus twelve will give us fifteen. And fifteen is the fourth term. Fifteen is the fourth term. Term. So basically, if you haven't, you have gotten confused somewhere, you can still go through. You can watch the video again, and then yeah, you get to get used. So when you're dealing with a question like this in the exam, uh, what you need to master is first you need to master the formulas. It's very important these formulas they are in your head, and also you need to master the procedure. Otherwise, immediately you master the formulas, everything is simple. Uh, if you don't know the formulas, then it's very difficult for you to find the answer. So if you find this video helpful, remember to like it and share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Invite your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have got a question or you have a question that is giving you problems to solve, you can still write it in the comment section. I uh, will be glad to make a video on that question uh, which we feel can help you if you find this video helpful remember to like it and share with your friends thank you so much for watching god bless you